Welcome back everybody. Today I want to go over a gill farm that you can utilize as early as day one of playing the game. This farm requires no assistance from other people, you don't need any crafters or gatherers, and it can be done with any job. You won't need any special gear, in fact you can do this farm naked. All it requires is for you to hit level 17 in the MSQ. What farm am I talking about? Well, Palace of the Dead of course. We'll be doing floors 1 through 10 to be precise. We're farming bronze sacks. To get started with this farm, first you want to head to New Gridania and pick up the blue quest, The House That Death Bell from Nojira Marujiro. Man, they are so mean to me. This quest will send you to South Shore and eventually to Quarry Mill, and it unlocks the Palace of the Dead. Palace of the Dead is a 200 floor gauntlet broken up into 10 floors at a time. You have one hour to complete each 10 floors. We'll be focusing on just farming the first 10 floors today. To enter the palace, talk to the Wood Whaler Expeditionary Captain. Click on Enter the Palace and he'll show you two save files. Start a fresh save. Choose Enter with a fixed party. This allows you to solo the dungeon, whereas if you join with match party, it will join you with three other people. So now you've entered Palace of the Dead and you're level one of the, your chosen job. I chose Machinist because it's a ranged DPS and arguably easiest, but this farm works for, with any job. Gear doesn't matter inside the palace. Instead, you'll have a damage buff score and an armor buff score. Each can go up to level 99 and you save progress each time you enter the dungeon. You increase these buffs by importing silver chests. Every silver chest has a chance to raise a stat. You'll also find gold chests inside the dungeon and these will be key to farming bronze bags. Gold chests will give you a random buff that you can use throughout your playthrough. You can carry up to three of each buff. In fact, if you already have three, it won't allow you to loot the chest, giving you a chance to use said buff and then come back and loot it before leaving the floor. Each floor has an exit ring that will open up after you cleared a certain amount of mobs. The exit ring will send you to the next floor. The mistake most people make is they zerg the dungeon and don't take the time to level it. Since this is a farming session, we're more focused on getting gold chests than speed clearing each floor. The primary buff we're looking for in the gold chest is intuition. Intuition will allow us to see hidden treasure chests. This yellow light is the location of hidden chests. Intuition will notify you if there's a hidden chest on the floor by saying in chat, you sense an accursed horror nearby. If it says it doesn't sense any presence, don't fret because the buff will persist through each floor until you find a hidden chest. Note, be sure to not use a new intuition buff until after you have looted your current buff's chest, or the buff will be wasted. Other buffs that are useful to increase your odds of finding intuition are affluence and fortune. Affluence will increase the number of chests that spawn on the next floor, and fortune will give mobs a higher chance of dropping a chest when defeated. It takes me about 20 minutes to clear floors 1 through 10, and on average I get 2 bags per run. You can do this farm all the way up to floor 50. The reason I only do floors 1 through 10 is because it is much quicker to finish than the later floors. The mobs are much easier and the traps are much more forgiving. Speaking of traps, each floor has hidden traps spread throughout. They can make you do less damage, damage you, turn you into a frog, or various other annoying things. Traps tend to be positioned towards the center of the floor, so if you move around hugging the walls, you'll avoid most of the traps. Floors 1 through 9 are the normal rooms with mobs and treasure chests, but there's a boss on each 10th floor. Floor 10's boss is pretty simple. He has no real mechanics, just use a strength and steel buff. And and kite him around the room. Stay out of the yellow, damage him, and without much work, you'll defeat him. You have now finished the first 10 floors. Take the left portal to the exit of the palace. You'll gain a little experience for your current job, some gill, and elegant tombstones if your job level is over 50. To restart floors 1 through 10, talk to the Wood Whaler Expeditionary Captain again. This time, click Reset Progress and delete your save file. Then just join the palace like before. 
I'll usually do this farm about 10 times in one session, but it's up to you how many times you want to farm it. Once you're done, you'll need to have your bronze sacks appraised. To do that, talk to the expedition bishop to the right of the captain and click appraise. She'll turn your sacks hopefully into treasures. The sacks have a chance to have Thabnerian outfits, Moonfire beachwear, Samsonian locks hairstyle, multiple minions, and various other items. So you have the potential of making some serious skill and beginning the grind to 99 if you ever wanted to take on the illustrious Necromancer title where you sold all 200 floors. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Consider subscribing. I'll continue making more gill, farm, and how-to videos in the future. And thanks for watching. Bye.